Hello, what is going on? EDU 222-357. This is Emily Wolfram, if you haven't told by now. Um, so, we're going to be reviewing some apps and websites. The first we're going to be doing is the Tumblebook Library. Um, looking up tumblebooks.com, you can see there's like four different sections. The Tumblebook Library, which is the one we'll be going to. And if you click on it, hopefully if it loads, there we go. It'll open up this. This is the same tab as this one, so we don't need it right now. So this is for like grades K to 6. So it has books that are read to the students so that they can um, hear them and participate. This is more for like middle school, high school, as you can see here. But it's basically the same as the Tumble Book Library from what I can tell. And there's Tumble Math, which is math. And I'm assuming this is audiobooks for like students with um, special needs. Like I said, we're going to be focusing on the Tumble Book Library. So let's go here. So right off the bat, we have a bunch of books that you can read. We can, we'll be listening to one in a few seconds, but I just wanted to scroll through and see they've got different offers, different types of books, nonfiction, um, TV friends like Caillou, that little bugger from or four years of age that everyone used to like and no one does. Early readers, humor, friends and family. So we've got a lot of different stuffs. Stuffs, my goodness. Um, these are like all the schools that use this. I think that's pretty cool. These looks like some reviews that they have. You love tumble books. I should add the kids do too. Well, that seems very, uh, what's the word? Very nice. Right, about Tumble Book Library. Let's see. Alright, so it says in this first paragraph here, Tumble Premium is your answer to building reading, math, and literacy skills. Tumble Premium combines everything you love about the original Tumble Book Library Deluxe with Tumble Book Cloud Junior's books for older readers into one easy access point, one super collection, one login. So it already looks like um, very... Well, with, I, I can't speak. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, these are all the other stuff we can do. Looks very interesting. Okay. Pricing. Don't think we need to worry about that, but let's just take a look. So, $7.99 per year for a school. If it's two years, $639.20 per year. And for three years, 559.30 a year. So, looks like they get it's used very well because the pricing is so high. So, it looks like it's very valuable. Public libraries, basically the same price per branch per year. I guess this is what you can use if you have other options that you want. What's this? Subscribe. Okay, how to order. This is how you would order it. You would just have to send the library and school name for libraries for the school districts, shipping and billing address, contact name, email address, phone number. All right, that seems easy enough. What's this free trial? Okay, so if you wanted a free trial, this is where you would go for that. Let's go here. This is where you would contact them if you have issues, if you have any questions. And I'm assuming if you have an account with them, this is where you would sign in. What's this? English flash. English non-flash. I don't know what the flash means. What this what does it mean? Let's see. Flash tumble books. Did I do something? Okay, this is weird. Well, we're gonna go with it. Okay, so let's find a story. The man with the violin sounds like an interesting story. Kind of a music geek myself. If it will let me. No? Okay. Oh, maybe if I do this first. Award. Oh, is it not gonna let me? Am I gonna have to do this over? No! No! This is. Something. Maybe I have to do the free trial first. 
I'm gonna pause this and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I started a free trial just to see where that would take us. Let's see if this works. Hang on. See how it is. Is there I don't think it's gonna give us the thing. Oh, tumble tunes that looks like songs. Very nice. Okay. Oh, I remember this book. Oh, Mercy Watson. Okay. So let's click on this and see if it will work. Read online. Oh. Let's see, plug in. Okay. Maybe I won't do this one. Help and tumble. Let's go home. Let's try this again. Let's do this one. This looks interesting. All in the other rain. Wow, that is something. See, plug them. What does it do? No slash liberty. I'm not making that mistake again. Oh, that's nice. Puzzles and games. I didn't know we had puzzles and games. Interesting. Oh, they've got stuff in other languages, too. Very nice. Word searches. Memory games. Spelling. Very important. Let's see. All right. Let's Okay, English non-flash. That's what I had long before. There we go. Okay. Let's try this. There we go. Every day, Olive took her daily dog walk. Winter, spring, summer, or fall. I see, so it Today was a winter the day. Sentences that it was the holiday. Very good strategy. There was music playing outdoors. People were singing along. All of the other reindeer. Olive was too shy to sing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She hummed. Back at her doghouse, Olive was wrapping presents and listening to the radio. She heard that same song again. All of the other reindeer went the song. All of the other reindeer. Olive sang along. Olive, the reindeer said Olive. Hmm? I thought I was a dog. Hmm. I must be a reindeer. It was the time of year when all reindeer reported to the North Pole to help Santa Claus. Right. Well, Olive put down not her going to play this entire thing because that would take too long, but kind of get the gist of it. It plays the narration of the author reading the book or whoever read the book. And it highlights the sentences as the as you as it reads. 
so students can follow along or listen to the story rather than just simply reading it. So I think that's pretty good because some students can't really read. I feel like this would be a really good assistive technology site. So let me see what else we have here. Okay, so this is what's coming soon. You can see all the different language books again. Oh, I see. So Spanish, ebook, ebook, video, ebook, playlist, French, good. Spanish, Spanish. I like how it includes different languages too, so it's not only good for those who have disabilities, it's also good for ELL learners. Nonfiction, language learning. Let's go to the puzzles and games. See what we've got. Here's Nemo, the sentence game. Oh, the bears sleep late every day. Okay, so you're associating the sentence with the picture. The bears wear very tight bathing suits and sing all the time. I almost guess that's that one. Oh, well, that's what happens when you get the wrong one. It doesn't even give you feedback, though, so that's kind of... Nah, I don't know about that. The bears sit on the long windowsill and drink coffee and pick the tea crumbs out of their fur. I'm going to guess that one. Yay, I got it. Most days the bears stay up very late, way past our bedtime. That one. When it looks too clean, the bears bring in buckets of sawdust and throw it around. I guess it's that one. Okay. Alright, not gonna play this entire game. This sounds like it could go on very long. So yeah, that game is pretty cool. It doesn't give you the feedback that you would want if you got an answer wrong, like I have done. Unwillingly on the second question. Because I feel like some of that would be confusing. Because people can interpret art in various ways. So that is Tumble Books. Let's see if there's anything else. Videos. We're not going to watch the videos, but I just want to see what they have. Okay, mostly nonfiction. That makes a lot of sense. Ooh, black holes. That sounds rather interesting. Social studies, fun, fun, fun. Common core state standards. Let's look at that. Oh, okay, that's cool. Let me just look this up. Oh, so it gives you the standards right there. Oh, and it gives you books that, um, or lists of books that will allow you to do your standards. I like that. I like that feature because... Sometimes you don't know what books you want to do for your standard, or that matches with your standard, so I think that would be really beneficial for that lesson. Ooh. And they give you examples of lesson plans. That is very resourceful. I am very intrigued by that. Let's look at this. Let me see what this is. Oh, download? Download? It's for an assignment. Okay. Sorry, that was my mom. Hmm, that's cool. It's like a little project, a story. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I'm coming from a cold. All right, so that's awesome. Elements of the story, it's got a little project to go with it. That's cool, very nice. Okay, I don't really think everything else, anything else is too important for this. Okay, that's just the index. Maybe I was there before, I don't know. So, from the looks of it, Tumble Book Library is a good resource for um, books or reading for students. 
especially those with like disabilities or like maybe auditory processing problems or vision problems um or ELL learners too I think it'd be really good for those types of students because of reading them out loud and not just <clears throat> excuse me not just like reading to them or having them read the words so I think it's really good for that the games I wish they would provide a little more feedback I mean we didn't play all the games because we didn't have time to but I feel like with more feedback, you'd actually be able to learn from the experience. The book feature is really nice. The lesson plan feature is very nice, very helpful for teachers to plan their lessons based around that. So, overall, I'd say this is a really good website. I would recommend it. <coughs> Goodness. And um, that would be all for this video. We will move on to the next one shortly. I think we're going to do Fun Brain Academy next time. And hopefully that will be a shorter video than this one because we're going at 16 minutes. It's a little long, but oh well. Alright, that is it. See you guys next time.